hey guys what's up and welcome back to another video so today guys what i want to do is so all right let me just say guys i decided that i'm going to make my own formulation on how to grow my hair now i'm going to be showing you guys pictures of how my hair usually be before it start growing it start growing a little bit but i feel like i want to start up the speed now i've seen a lot of videos online where i'm seeing videos where people are like growing their hair but majority of the times i'm seeing hair videos where they have hair already on their head or they only show a little piece of like nobody really shows like the whole process of actually growing your hair no, I'm starting from scratch because uh, y'all can see I don't really got no hair, but I'm going to show you how my hair was short, like shorter than this. I cut off my hair last year in July. So when my mom passed, I wanted to support her on her journey, but um, she did lose her hair. She did chemo. She did three treatments of chemo, but she did lose her hair. Unfortunately, I still lost her um where's my mom's soul in peace god knows everything for so the process of all of that i decided to take up on the journey with growing back my hair no i my hair was relaxed from i was in grade nine i think around there i was like what 15 14 or something like that so my hair got relaxed and from there i always keep relaxing my hair until I got a little older, I put my hair in a pixie cut. So I'm going to show pictures of how it was. Yeah, like, like look at it here. Yeah, it was looking good. Yeah. But unfortunately, after going to cosmetology school, I kind of like, you know, I kind of had a mixed feeling about relaxers because they cause risk of cancer so from there i decided you know what i'm not going to use any more relaxer in my hair um <clears throat> i know y'all probably like okay is that her natural color okay no so i put bleach in my hair but i think that you know putting color in your hair sometimes has a different style that you might go for and stuff like that but i'm deciding on to just let the color grow out of my hair not that i can say i'm not going to color it again but for now i feel like i just want to grow my hair to the healthiest stage as possible so anyway guys what about talking we're gonna guys pause i'm supposed to say ingredients but i keep seeing products anyways be talking about the products that i'm going to be formulating and i'm sure you guys probably see these products around before but i'm going to be mixing the, them together and to actually see how my hair can grow okay let's talk about massage i know that it's going to be like very technical because you're supposed to massage it every two days for the week it helps with circulation and it also increases hair growth so i'm going to be putting my own formulations together and then i'm gonna see how much my hair will grow with doing all these massages and stuff like that so the formulations that i have today guys is going to be onions i'm going to use flaxseed i'm going to use an ans knee star or something like anzi ans knee star if i'm pronouncing right y'all correct me in the comments if i'm not um, and all these things can be eaten but they also can formulate to go in your hair so just imagine let's say you're not putting these things in your body right your hair only gets 10 percent of what you eat so imagine if you just eat a lot of bad food i mean genetics can make people hair grow at the same time but just imagine somebody not eating properly like your hair maybe look good but maybe it's damaging or you're experiencing hair loss problems or stuff like that so if i'm not going to just eat the stuff but actually put it in my hair i think we're going to get a win-win here guys that is coming from the pot is so surreal
guys it's the next morning so yeah guys this is how it's looking and everything in my head so now it's time for the testy i'm gonna put some of the oils in my hair right now and i'm gonna let it sit for 30 minutes as you can see look so let's look at that guys you're seeing that little patch right there i'm gonna put some there as well so i'm in my bathroom i have a little hair loss patch right there and i don't know if that's from um bleaching my hair or i don't know or maybe that's just how my hair grow okay you know i have a hair and hair so maybe that's how just my hair grow anyway as i tell you this smells so <laughs> this smells so bad y'all like I feel like I'm putting all type of cluster oil <clears throat> and roots and hoots in my hair. So I'm definitely going to find a, um, I'm definitely going to find a essential oil to like, you know, help it. But I do have dandruff in my hair, but like not a lot from I cut it. I noticed that I don't have a lot of dandruff like how I used to have in my hair before I cut my hair. So... I'm just gonna massage it now. So as I was saying, for 30, the reason why I'm letting it sit in my hair for 30 minutes and not longer is because when I was doing my research on onions, they were saying that if you're doing the onion water, like a lot of people do onion water only if they want to do hair growth. I was reading up something that Cardi B does that. Um, she did the onion water for hair growth. So when you do the onion water, right, the onion is very acidic so you want to make sure that also when you're doing a shampoo your shampoo is a milder shampoo after you're doing these type of oils because the stuff that you're using sometimes they're like really acidic and you want to bring down the ph back to your normal ph for your hair so yeah they said to let it sit for 30 minutes but even though I have more than one different like things like I mix up and stuff like that, I'm going to just for that 30 minutes as well and not go any further with it as well. So I'm going to put my timer on right now after I finish massaging, let it sit, and then we're going to wash this baby out. I'm seeing a lot of videos where I could do my hair like my my hair being this length like must be some video guys because i'm researching and i'm like yo like yeah man Remember me tell ya? i have definitely go try them and to see how they come out like for real because hello we don't want to walk it up and down with a little a mini mop on my head like every day like i'm so tired of the mini mop i kind of want to do it like it's so easier for me to do somebody else's hair that is short like this but to do my own hair that is short like this is like <sighs> is but yeah i'm gonna definitely find an essential oil yeah help with the scent that is going about other than that it's not so bad and that's why i recommend washing it out because like you be walking up and down with your hair smelling like i probably have to come up with a different hair grow oil that you could definitely wear just let it be let it stay don't don't rinse it out but i feel like after a while oils like too much oils after a while your hair is going to have a rancid smell my hair is so oily so moist when i tell you so oily so moist from head to toe. I be massaging. I could see that oil seeping in. Hey okay, guys, so my hair is washed. So what I'm gonna do right now is to try to see if I could do a twist and coil no i've tried a twist and coil on my hair before but it never really come out <clears throat> too right because i'm doing it on myself if i was doing it on somebody else's hair then it looks good and everything but when i'm doing my own hair to like see the back of what's going on around here it's like literally hard mirror that i bought on amazon 
to see the whole thing. If the front look good, who cares about the back, right? Um, my Mazzani Twist and Coil Shiny Gem Gel. It's water. So what I like to do first is to like just spray it out a little bit. Well, it's gonna be 68 degrees in New York tomorrow. What? Yep. Definitely gonna do some exercise tomorrow at the park. And then I'm gonna do some workout in the house. And I'm gonna upload my workout video, guys, that I'm going to be doing <clears throat> because I want to be more active in the gym. Like, I've been literally out of the gym for probably like two months now because um you know like, it's expensive like going to the gym and stuff like that is expensive i don't have it right now so i am going to do some gym work out in other house because y'all i've taken off so much weight as y'all can see, like, that's a process of it. Yo! I've taken off so much weight, but um, I'm not ready to show the result yet of my weight loss. Um, I know that, you know, being on camera doesn't look like, oh, God, what she has about, like, she not look like she take off, no, no? But, y'all, I'm gonna tell her, I'm gonna take off weight. Like, I'm gonna take off weight eating one plate a day or sometimes i eat two but it depends on what i eat i don't be eating like a lot like how i used to <clears throat> you know the girl birthday will come up in our drawn and not just that not because of my birthday but i honestly like i tell myself from what happened to my mom that i kind of wanted to live a healthier lifestyle but it was just <laughs> I wasn't in a, you know, taking off weight, like a lot of people think it's just easy, said and done. Like you feel like you can't take off weight by just talking about it. Like you want to take it off, yes, but your mindset has to change. Like you have to be in that place to tell yourself like, oh, you got to take off some weight. Like literally, as easy as a lot of people think it is. Like, no. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of dedication. It's a lot of your mindset, you know? Where are you in your life? Where you feel like it's time, you know? A lot of us want to take off weight. It's, a, it's really a mind game. And then to eat expensive, like, to eat healthy is so mad expensive. Like, <sighs> that's what I'm telling you. Like, the way how the the economy is set up they it's set up to for you to like not like can take care of yourself and for buy one mcdonald it's so cheap like you could literally buy a mcdonald for a little bit of money you get two burger but for take up two grass outside you end up as spend like a hundred dollars and you just take up two grass like literally two grass to eat like properly when i reach the back Help. God help me because I can't see the same myself, like literally. I'm finally finished. Guys, so this is the came out. 